This may be one of the most transformative times in the history of the Mount Sinai Medical Center and the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The end of our campaign marks the fulfillment of our dream. Our dream to be great in basic sciences and clinical sciences. The ultimate goal of our campaign was relatively simple but a challenge to attain. And that is that we would make our hospital one of the truly great hospitals in the world. All of our donors have given in a way that is important to them and it's put Mount Sinai into a position uh, of strength and most important a position to really start a new life. Their faith in Mount Sinai never wavered even through some of our most difficult times. The response of our, our boards of trustees was phenomenal. Uh, we truly became partners in the capital campaign, in, in developing the vision together. In my mind, what we're, we're celebrating is where Mount Sinai is and where it has come from. When I think of Mount Sinai, the, the word that most comes to mind to me is excellence. They dare, and they dare to be great. This campaign marks nearly a perfect storm in medical progress. I mean, you have supportive trustees who give their skills, who give their resources, and you have dynamic leadership. And don't tell my husband I said that. What was really, truly remarkable about the campaign was the participation by the trustees. The trustees truly, in the sense of the word, were very active participants formulating the policies of a major healthcare institution. We all felt like we were part of creating the outcome. My dad instilled in me, uh, you know, a love for um, for an institution like Mount Sinai. We were very lucky to have been born into the family we were born into. And our father would always talk about the importance of philanthropy and how important it was for us to give back to society. And it was uh, a huge conversation always uh, around our table. And it ended up that Mount Sinai was very much a part of almost every meal. The doctors at Mount Sinai saved my daughter's life when she was born. Um, and I've had a, an affinity, a love, a feeling of responsibility to Mount Sinai. To me it stands for the beginning of my life because my children were each born here. What really attracted me to Mount Sinai was that it has such an excellence in medical care, but it's also the community hospital. This is my neighborhood. One of the beauties of this facility is that uh, research and patient care go right together. Mount Sinai is the creme de la creme when it comes to medical research and patient care. They have a dedication and passion for excellence, which we admire and share. I remember as a very young child sitting around the dining room table and listening to my parents talk about philanthropy. My father came from very modest means, but uh, he was a very generous man. Uh, generous with the family uh, and generous with the community. Uh, so I, I do think that uh, uh, philanthropy is something that I learned at home. Mount Sinai uh, always attracted me because my father was involved with this medical center. Philanthropy is part of our tradition. What's so important to us is not, not the name on the wall, but the work that's being accomplished. To share your fortune, Mount Sinai gives our family the opportunity to share much of what has been given to us, and we are very grateful. I think philanthropy is really about the old proverb, doing for others what they cannot do for themselves. It says it all for Mount Sinai. It is and should be largely a selfless uh, endeavor. And I think the magical side of that vision was Eric Shedd's reputation to attract bright, brilliant scientists to Mount Sinai, and we're very, very proud.
to be a part of that. We are interested in supporting core research into diseases and we are focused really on autism. We are hoping to make an impact in the field of children's health by backing a world-class team of researchers, providing them the resources that are necessary in order for them to be as creative as they can be and do the best work that they can possibly do. You know, I got passionate about, in the brain science area, uh, of it being the last frontier. This is where it all starts. And while, you know, there aren't patients being treated, it's the researchers who are looking for ways to treat them that is the most vital thing about the Institute. And that's exciting and inspiring to all of us. I like to show everyone that works at the Dubin Breast Center that I really care about the center. I also want them to know that we are a team. I am not someone that just sits on top and, and writes the checks, but I will help everyone that works there to make the center as good as we possibly can be. We always continue to hope and dream that one day we'll say that the cause of autism has been discovered and wiped out. We're hoping our gifts will lead to true breakthroughs. And we hope and we know that Mount Sinai will be right there along with us. Our only encounter with Gus Levy was when we were medical students. He came to address us and he gave a long talk. He came to us as students carrying a torch that had been passed on to him by people who carried it for a hundred years before him. And he established the medical school. So he maintained that torch and he made it burn brighter. And now that torch is in our hands. It's up to us to make sure that the institution survives and that it flourishes. We're celebrating the fact that the community as a whole has come together to be supportive of Mount Sana. We can be proud of what we've achieved because we've exceeded our wildest expectations. But the end of one campaign always marks the beginning of another. The strategic imperatives in medicine today demand that Mount Sinai continue to innovate, continue to attract the best people, continue to aspire to leadership in many fields. And we're celebrating a new height of that giving. We've never seen this kind of generosity from the public towards Mount Sinai before, and it gives us all great hope that we can continue with philanthropy going forward. I'm hoping our support is, is going to be a springboard for more support. Mount Sinai is about continuation. It's about growth. It's about family. And more than anything, I think that Mount Sinai really encompasses for those of us, particularly those who are sitting in this room tonight, who really represent generations of philanthropic endeavors in the greatest city in the world, building a great institution, what could be nicer? I think that's why God created tomorrow. I think the best years of Mount Sinai are ahead of them. And I think Mount Sinai has proven that over and over again when there are so many institutions in New York City that you can choose to be philanthropically engaged with. There has been no relationship in our lives, in our family's lives, that has been more fulfilling for us as a family, and I mean the broad family,